So you're probably wondering, why should I bother to watch this? Because we are begging you. And we know that you're probably starting out wanting to hate it. Like, who are these assholes? So just let that go. There's gonna be three sketches. Each one introduces one of our characters. I'm Zach, the bright-eyed optimist. I'm Jim, I'm kind of the goofy doofus, like the Phoebe. And I'm a D-head, a major D-head, and I love it. So I have extra copies of mine. Oh, you brought copy to yours. Uh-huh, there's one for you, Cully, and Jimmy. Thank you. You guys are really gonna like this script, it's okay. really fun. Exterior. Day. Rockaway Beach. Slow pan to two losers having a terrible day, played by Jim and Cully. And Cully's rubbing lotion into your back. Cut to our handsome hero holding a cooler above his head. What's inside the cooler? I don't know. No one does. It's a magic cooler. What's inside? Awesome snacks. Booyah. Not just awesome snacks. Paddle ball. Who doesn't love that? And the greatest party song of the past decade! Party. We like, we like to party. So I think that the I, I think the prop. Why would you? Why would you get why, arrested why? at the end really of your own me. fantasy? It really upsets me. You put it's sort of like a world. dream, right? There's it's like a dream world. world. So exactly. I don't understand where the why cop comes from. Uh, yeah, the ending is not. Yeah, the good. ending is awful. Okay, next script. Chin up, man. Now I want to just let you guys know before we start reading this. Let's look at it for content. I don't even. Let's think content and like think arc and storyline. I'm really putting myself out there with this. Okay. What is your point? Be gentle. Let's just this is it. a real thing that happened to me. It's based on a true story. And your life okay. is so compelling, this will so. be great. Uh, is this good? The wine, is this a good bottle of wine? What is that? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's Jesus riding a T-Rex. Okay. Okay. I don't like your shirt. What? It was like really awesome. It was like a great moment and the girl was like, ah, oh, and I was like, you should get a better sense of humor. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say, can I? You, let's say something nice about Jim Street. You wrote a nice, a nice story. It had a beginning, it had a middle, and it had an end. And the potential for humor, I think, is definitely somewhere, like it lives. It's, it's oh. short. It's short. Jim, Fine. Noted. Jim, I hate no, to get noted. No, noted. I hate, noted. Noted. You know noted. How much it's crap. No, it's crap. If we're, if we're going to actually try and do this, we need to really set a professional tone for ourselves. What did you write? What did you, what is your, I didn't actually write a script on paper. Oh, there you go. Okay. But it's not okay. That's, See, that's it's fine. more, it's that's more fine. like I was. Okay, let me tell you something. The reason I didn't write it is because I was walking around with last night. I was looking super sexy, shirt unbuttoned, chest hairs popping, jawline firm as always. I see this honey crown and I say, why so blue? I have nobody to go with me to pop in chocolate. This is ridiculous, Cully, you don't look like that. Jim, this is exactly what happened. You don't look like a young Brad Pitt, you can't recast yourself in this. Jim, we waited patiently during your script. There is no script! Thank you, Zach. As I was saying, pop and chocolate is the hottest new dessert place slash eatery in the city. I've wanted to go ever since the Daily Bush would compare it to the invention of the screw for the restaurant world. A total game changer. Ambiance impeccable. Entree, le chocolatier. He hands us the night's menus. Crimson, magenta, fuchsia, jade, chartreuse. And the Hiccups, River, Blood, Fever, Dream, Pony Whisper, Peter gave him a shirt. I get chartreuse, fever, tree. She gets jade, pony whisper. And just like that, our fate is sealed. Like the rising sun, he returns. She tells me he's going to pop our balloons. I say, okay. And then we, uh, we lick each other's faces. Oh. Cully Boy's getting hungry, and the chef pops our balloon, and there's chocolate everywhere. We're soaked with fever dream, and I can feel the fire of a thousand distant stars ignite inside of me. The flutter of an eagle's wings, and the chef is riding this tricycle, shooting a cap gun as this March of Caesar's army creeps within my spine. It was nuts. You guys should totally get reservations.
we're f So the cooler can do anything. It's a magic cooler. And the cop represents society. Or there is no cop. There doesn't have to be a cop. Oh, there's definitely a cop. Okay, whatever. So, what do you think? Mr. Michaels? Cindy, the caterers have gone insane. Call security.